My name is Amy, like I said. I'm African Norwegian, live in between Brussels and Paris. I did this mark, uh, this brand, I'm sorry, is um, uh, tribal art form to um, fashion bags. And the name of the brand is Kerr and Lante. It's my name, and then Kerr in Wolof in West Africa, Gambia. And Senegal, we speak it there, Kerr. Yes. It's house. And in the other word in French, that's Kerr is the house. Yeah. So it's like just a jackpot. I don't know how it comes, but it happens. And the concept of this bag is to bring African art to life. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is so pretty because the name of the object is Kota. Kota is from Gabon. Kota, it brings people together, mm -hmm. like the village people when they have problems. Uh, it brings you together to yeah. bring peace. And then at the same time, Kota, it's bring luck to everyone. It's, a, it's like a mask. Huh? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a ma yeah, it's a mask and it's, it's one of the best ever mask that you know people love to buy because for me it's one of, one of the best in the whole I think travel art. Yes. I prefer it. Yeah. And girl, I mean, I know I've noticed that you have several bags, several uh, different shapes as well. Exactly. So I think you will tell me more about that. So how it comes that you have all these bags, different colors, different shapes. So actually these shapes, I try to make it so that everybody can have a piece of the, the cake, I should say, because we are all different. I just don't want to be one style. So I, I make a pocket bag for people that go into the office, you know, have, you know, a uh, meeting and stuff like that. They can take this bag and still look chic. Like what I usually say is, doesn't mean that you go into the office, you have to look, you know, not your best. You should always look your best as a woman. That's how I see it, anyway. <laughs> As a woman, in your days, green is a perfect color. Exactly, and this green color is my because with everything because it's not any kind of green. It's the green that we've tested so many times for it can match so many colors. Mm -hmm. And you know what I also like about, uh, about the handbags? <laughs> that you have all the different shapes oh, and sizes. So, key, yeah. so you got the little one, it's like, see? And then you have a medium one. And then you have a medium one. Yeah. That's the medium one. So, you can see it like in the middle of it. Yes. And we it's have like the baby one, the little one, the little one, and the, and the bigger one. And then, bigger. one. and then we have the fourth one, it's even bigger. It's really bigger. <laughs> it's like if you're traveling, like a busy woman, or not even busy woman, sometimes you're going for a long weekend, you can put everything inside. You can your laptop, your your iPad, and few things, yes. your makeup bag, and everything. It goes, it goes very well. And it's not, it's not heavy actually. It's not heavy. Yes, yeah, it's very light. It's very light. I, I think this one <laughs> may be perfectly fit like for when you go out to, to the beach or brunch. Exactly. Yeah. You bring just a little bit of exclusivity in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other one, the, which one is like the evening one? You tell me. For me, the evening one for the girls like me, I would take the small one because it's easy, it's not heavy. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, you can take this one. Because some girls, they don't want to be very, very small. So this two to the evening, I think is the best. Yeah. For, and then you have this one that you can run around with it. You know, and nowadays you can look. It's so this is cross back. Oh, look at it, it's so big. It's one so of you. Yes. Yeah, this one you have to take it with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. And really, I mean, yeah. like this. The coater is just, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not that too much because the coater is doing the talking here. Yes. So for me, that's the most important thing that people see the art. Because mm -hmm. we have, to, that's what I'm symbolizing that people have to know what's going on in African mm -hmm. art. So, we have to embrace it. Mm -hmm. And then if you go a little bit further, okay. we have even more colors. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, these are the other colors because we have five colors. We have black, something, camel, red, mm -hmm. and green one. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and can tell me a little bit about what you experience of what they create in this bag. Because we have, yeah. have talked a little bit about it, but yeah. we would like to. The concept of the bag is as African art is like, uh, what can I say? When I was growing up in Norway, I did not like about it because I didn't study anything about African art, not about history of Africa. But when I met my partner, he introduced me to African art and I said, wow, what kind of a world is this? I'm interested and it's, I start to read books. I just said, how can I bring this to life so that people like me will not forget, you know, start to embrace their culture. I said, let me bring it to fashion. But in fashion, what am I going to do? Clothes? Bags? I said, I don't know. So I just said, let me do it in bags because everybody needs bags. Everybody puts things in the bag, whether it's a paper bag, plastic bag, or a leather bag. That's why I introduced the bags. So we start there and then we see where it's going to take us. Me, bags, number one, because I love it. We, especially we women, we need to put everything in our bags. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always asking them, I said, what is in your bag? Oh my always... God. And you never find anything. <laughs> It doesn't matter how big the bag is. I have to throw it like this. But I couldn't find it. Why is that? It's in front of my eyes. There's so many things in the bag that I couldn't find anything. And we, are, we never get enough bags. You can have a thousand bags. Because the bag is like, yeah, how can I say it? It's like, uh, it's like art. Mm -hmm. It's like art, yeah. and I would say it's like more like a moon. Yeah. It's like if you feel differently tomorrow, what we have to call it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's, that's, the, that's the reason uh, you know, I make bags and want people to, um, to show their personality, who they are. Yes. But of course, the bags are not for everybody, but you can stand out. Because I'm so tired of my Gucci bag or Chanel bag. I just want something different. And I think this is something new. We bring our African art to fashion. Is it? And African art is a living thing. It's a living thing. It's living. It's, it's, it's us, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see there, the gold is uh, gold brown. They will never change. They will okay. change the colors. The color stays. Stays the same. And the, um, the, um, the coat, of, uh, it was made in Italy, and the bag is made from um, Portugal. Okay. Yeah, because the leather and the is leather, the the leather is um, it's car high, we get treated because we now have to work sustainability. But who knows the word sustainability? It's a big word. We we are working hard to get into it, and I'm not going to say that everything is hundred percent. But we will get there one day. But we have to try to get it all done. So step by step, my future is there.